it's hard. It's a commitment to give that 10%. One of the excuses you hear is, I can't afford to. And my response is, we really can't afford not to, to trust God with everything we have. One thing God taught us early on is, you know, He always gives us more than enough. We were poor college students, and I think we were making about $12,000 a year. So tithing 10% on $12,000 is doesn't leave you with much. I remember a, a time when we wrote our tithe check on a Sunday, and we had nothing left in our bank account. And that Monday, we went to the mail, and out of the blue, there was a $100 check from my grandmother saying, thinking about you. Quite frankly, we didn't know how we were going to get to the next check, but we were 100% dependent on God. He showed us He's going to provide all of our needs. So we continued to practice uh, those principles of giving. And, you know, as life does, it gets busy. I unfortunately allowed that to change some of the priorities that I had. We were putting our four kids through college which is a major expense. We were living a certain lifestyle and I was depending essentially on a bonus to help pay for our tithe. The hard lesson that I learned is that we had a year where that bonus was zero. I have withheld first fruits, but now I don't even have the ability to, to pay a tithe. And so I was incredibly convicted of that. And there was a message at renovation around first fruits and given God the first of our time, um, talents, and treasures. And so we knew uh, that we had to make some pretty dramatic changes. I sold some jet skis, I sold a boat, and really our dream uh, piece of property that we were gonna build a retirement home on, on the water, and decided to sell that. The most exciting aspect of that is I was able to write the largest tithing check that I've ever written uh, in my life. I remember sending John a text said, hey, I've got something to share with you. I'd really love to meet you. Let's meet for coffee. And I began to share my heart with John. And I pulled out of my, my pocket the check, and it was with great joy that I was able to, to um, give that to John, Renovation Church. And in the four line, in the lower left-hand part of the check, I wrote First Fruits. Since that moment, God has continued to be faithful. The house that we wanted to downsize, that we had tried to sell before unsuccessfully, were able to sell very quickly uh, with a cash offer. I think that was just like in the early days when my grandmother sent me the $100 check and God was there again saying, I got your back, I'm here. It's hard to explain the joy that comes, but there's incredible release when you can open your, open your hands and not hang on to things. The possessions that we have in this life are so temporary but what we're able to give back to God and what He's able to use with it lasts for eternity.